I like to welcome all to the Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Well, I've been playing this since slightly before Stormblood came out and been on and off with it. Probably the only MMORPG I play and I like it for the most part. I've been burnt out lately and well, Endwalker I kind of just skipped through, didn't really pay attention to the story. Shadowbringer was basically the end of me. I came back and I did Endwalker. So I don't really know what much is going on. I did do the story and I saw this and that and um, all that. And well, I'll let you see the trailer.
good and serious. I trust you have not forgotten the true purpose of our voyage. Last, we have come to the land you call the New World. Oh, Hurrah! That was the first time I've seen that in its entirety. I've tried to stay as blind as possible to this expansion, not gonna lie, so... Yeah. Real quick, do I have to mess with my system stuff real quick, or am I good? I need to put you on maximum, I forgot I had to change that for something. There we go, that was on me. I also have to mess with the sound effects, because I have it usually all the way down. All right, hey, there I am. Hey, wow, hmm. I could tell the graphics changed a bit. The outfit looks actually better. Wow. Hmm. Well, uh, we all know what's about to happen. It's release date for the expansion. There's gonna be a queue. But yeah, real quick before I do that, I was saying <sighs> this game has burned me out many times. Once, uh... Let me see, when was the second? Heaven's Ward came out, I hopped in at the end of it and I got burned out with the A Realm Reborn and Heaven's Ward. There's quests in between that before the remade them. And there was a hundred just filler quests, got burned out and I immediately dropped the game until Stormblood came out. I played the game, barely remember Stormblood or A Realm Reborn. I'm very iffy on those. Stormblood, I kind of remember. And then, well, after that, everything for me went downhill, not for story or anything, but uh, a lot of my favorite classes were getting reworked and all that, and I absolutely hated what they did with my favorite uh, class in the game at the time was Astro. So that game, that class, no matter what they do, I will never touch it. It's stuck at level 70, and that's where I'll remain. Man, actually, I am noticing the graphic update, and it actually looks better on the armor, because it, hmm... But yeah, so then I ditched the game at the end of Shadowbringers. Because I was just done with the game. But when Endwalker ended, uh, probably the point three update, I picked the game back up and started playing it again. But Endwalker, I'm very iffy on the story because I mostly just skipped through stuff and I was playing it, getting used to the game again. So, honestly, story and lore-wise, I am very rusty on or don't know much. I am more of a casual player. I do not do savages and hardcores and all that. I just do the stories and regular stuff. But I do plan on doing the story, and I plan on paying attention to the story this time. So, if you want to see the story... Dawn Trail, and by the way, I do plan on playing the new updates and they come out as they come out. I don't know if I'll... Uh, we'll see, we'll see. But I think you're tired of hearing me mumble, and this honestly looks a lot better than me. The armor. Well, my friend suggested I wear this, and the other one suggested I wear a different set, which... You'll probably see me wear as soon as I log into the game because I got inventory management and stuff to do and you do not need to see me do that because you have no idea how bad it is. So yeah, I'm going to log in, do my stuff, and then we'll, uh, I'll bring you on back. But until then, I'll see you in a couple seconds. So I wanted to show you real quick the mess I was talking about. Say hello to my inventory. I've been hoarding a lot of things lately and... Kind of have to start getting rid of some of this and fix my glamour dresser, so I don't think you need to see me do that. Also, real quick, gunbreaker power gauge. Cartridges. I already know how gunbreaker works. I don't need Rough Divide was removed. That's my gap closer. What did they replace it? Oh wait, wait one second. Wonders Tales, yep. If you're wondering, yes, all my hot bars are like this. It works for me. One second, um, Where's my gap closer? Oh. Oh, that's actually really interesting. Um, it goes to the reign of 
beasts at level 100. Unassignable. Excuse me, uh, where's my gap closer? Listen, I barely pay attention. Oh, wait. Ah, there it is. They changed it to tra trajectory. Okay. They changed it from rough divide to trajectory. Okay. I'm actually curious. You know, I'll show you my classes after. Let me do my inventory. I'm sorry for this. I'm actually... Um, I'm wondering if I want to keep my chat log open. No one really messages me or anything, but I don't want to have it open if people are going to talk. I think for now I will leave it there, but if people start saying certain... Well, no one's going to say stupid things, but personal things without blur it out. Because mm. there's not much I can put there, because I don't feel like doing face stuff. But yeah, I will be back after I do my stupid inventory. Because yeah, in the last few... I would say few months, I just grinded the raids because i'm like oh wait what's my currency yeah no they're discontinued all right oh i could have made my one weapon homestone of aesthetics huh that's a new one i got turn these and now question is will i get those or those if i get poetics that's gonna be useless but i could also make my yeah. i'm gonna have to go through all these and check and see what skills I are removed because new expansion, new updates, skills have been removed. As you saw, a rough divide being trajectory now. Also, if you're wondering, Paladin and Warrior, I never exactly leveled up. I started doing Paladin. Um, I want to do Viper. I really do. I would love to play Viper. The problem is it will be level don't, 70, I believe. And I have to level up 10 times. And as much as I would love to play... Viper, because I love Final Fantasy IX. I love the dual knives aspect, but no. Also, you will never be touched again for what they did to you. I don't care what they do to you, I'm not touching you. But everything is mostly level 9. Pictomancer and Viper aren't touched because they're new. Blue Mage is Blue Mage. I won't be touching that, really. Uh, everything else is good to go. I'll show you my stuff afterwards, but like I said, I just need to do some things, so I'll be back. Also, yeah... Wow. Um, I am noticing the graphics a bit. I really am. The armor is slightly more detailed. Oh, look at me, though. Yeah. All right. I'll be back. Well, I'm back. My inventory, as you can see, is pretty empty, honestly. So I wanted to show you some things. Well, first things first, I barely do the side quests in this game. So, yeah, that is a thing. Also, I'm going to start now doing the main story. A new world to explore. First things first, I like to show you my armor and the way it looks on all my uh, characters, or mostly just my glamours. So here, oh, my, no, wrong one. I'll open up my glamour plates. So here is my ninja. It's basic. It is the Eden Gates uh, set. I actually quite like it. I have glasses, of course. I have the uh, Seeing Horde daggers. This is about what my ninja looks like. Then we have... This is my casual outfit when I'm doing my island. Haven't done that in a while, but this is my island outfit I usually just run around with. This is my monk. I, I, I like it quite a lot. This is the level 90 monk outfit, but I changed the headgear with a skull, a level 70 skull I used to use on my samurai back in the day. And then I have dragon beard fists, a level 90 uh, relic weapon you can buy from the shop. I love the style of this and I think it actually fits quite well. Then we have my red mage. It's a red mage. What do you think? It's a level 90 red mage set, of course but with uh, the Moonlit Rapier, which honestly looks amazing. I love it so much. But yeah, Red Mage is Red Mage. Then we have my Machinist. It would have a gun, but I, I like the way the Machinist weapon looks, so I do not have one on this Glamour at the moment. But yeah, it is the uh, Near Automata raid, the ob obsolete Android cloak. I do not have the other sets of it, so that's why it only has the chest piece, and honestly, the hat fits quite well with it. And by the way, you can take the eye patch off or on, it's up to you. 
But yeah, these are just all my glamour sets. Then this you already seen. This is a set I made. Uh, well, my friends are like, oh, you should totally wear that for your tank. And I will. This is my Reaper set. It is a work in progress. It doesn't look that good, honestly. I want to do something with the chest piece, but eh. This is my Scholar. Personally, I like the level... This is the level uh, 90 set for the Scholar, but personally, I like the level 70 set a lot more. Or actually, that's 70, 60. This is Black Mage. Self-explanatory, it's Black Mage. The hat was a test. I might remove it, but it eh, kind of fits. This is my warrior. Um, once again, it's only a level 81 warrior, but this is the warrior I have at the moment. This is my crafting dude. Ignore it. I don't really do crafting, as you can see here. This is my bard. I'm quite happy with how he looks and how he is. I love it. This is also not the level 90 set. This is the level 80 set. I don't care for a level 90 set. This is Dark Knight. If you play Dark Knight without the Balamung and a nice set of red glasses, you are playing Dark Knight wrong. Look at him. This is, the, of course, the level 89, 90 set. Looks great. Uh, accessories, I technically don't even have these in my Glamour Dresser anymore, but they're still on my character. This is my Summoner. It is the uh, Ivelisse Raids, uh, yeah, Ivelisse Oracle uh, set mostly, except the boots. I don't have the boots, so I just put those on. Uh, once again, no weapon because I like the look of the relic weapon of this expansion. This is my Dragoon, work in progress, but I quite like it. Samurai, once again, level 90 set, but I also have a different set I love for Samurai, and I might bring that back. And on top of that, this weapon is my Eureka weapon, my replica Pyros blade. I love the way it looks personally, but yeah, I, I'm kind of a samurai main, but uh, other things. This is my healer. Once again, Ivelisse raid it is the astrologer. This is my sage. Then we have Paladin, which has, well, level 80 set, cause I can't get the level 90 set and equip it with him. This is my... This is a test set. It's not machinist. I forgot all about it. And then there's this. Well, my friends maybe made that. But yeah. This is what this armor, by the way, looks like without glamour. This is the uh, level 90, uh, item level five, 650, uh, Crendenum, Curious Offending. This is the entire set. Face wear? What's face wear? I don't know. Um, so these are all my classes, by the way. As you can see, there is one healer missing because I absolutely refuse to play that healer. Uh, but yeah, Sage is my main go-to healer. I know how that works. Yeah, Sage is my baby, and this is the Relic Weapon, fully upgraded. Um, oh yeah, a few things. Uh, don't need, don't need. Yeah, Paladin's the same as that. White Mage is my least played healer this expansion. I got the level 90. I'm not that good with it because I'm very unfamiliar with it for 20 levels. So I only got the level 90. Don't I don't really touch it. Scholar, once again, a bit unfamiliar with because I only play... Oh, wait, we lost Selene. Oh. And they keep taking our fairies away. Yeah. Uh, Scholar, not really my type of healer. Sage is my baby. Samurai... Yeah, I forgot. That. Okay, so the armor is different because of Monk. But, uh, let me show you. There you go. Yeah, this is Samurai. I know how Kiki's works and all that. But yeah, I love the blade, personally. But I also have the Relic Blade, which honestly looks really nice. I could, uh, att uh, give me a second. Let me take the glam. No, no, no. No, all that stays on. I will show you the glamour weapon. So this is the weapon unglamoured. And it looks pretty darn good. It reminds me of Fantasy... Uh, Fantasy Star Online. Something like that. It's styled, this entire, uh, set. Dragoon's level 90 set looks amazing. It is the... Oh, look at that. And I have it equipped currently, so it's not my glamour dresser. It's Tiamat. 
the Tiamat set. You can also raise and lower the helm, but boss. And this is the relic weapon fully upgraded and ready to go. But I love the look of this set, personally. Ninja? Uh, this is the level 90 ninja set. I didn't really... What is that bar up there doing? You. What are you doing there? I don't yeah, give me a second. Let me shrink you to 90. Save. Move you about there. I don't know what you are. Uh, so apparently ninja has been changed. Give me a second. Let me read this. Kazimote. Using an action armor crush as part of a combo. Grants a stack. Uh, represented by the gauge. Five stacks. Increases potency of the Aeoline Edge. Okay. Oh. Darn, that got removed. Alright, so a few things got removed. Guess I'll take that off. Alright, I'm gonna have to mess around with classes later. Reaper? Honestly, I just finished the relic weapon. This is what it looks like. It's a little basic. It's not much. Uh, once again, looks like Fantasy Star. Looks pretty darn good, honestly. And I'll, I see no moves are replaced or taken off, so don't worry about that. Now, Monk, uh, we all saw earlier. Where are you? I always forget the numberings, because I do not. Ah, there you are. Three. Monk, I honestly got in. Wow, the hot bars are different now. Uh, one second again. Gonna have to. Oh no, that is one hot bar. Okay, never mind. I was gonna move that, but that is a hot bar. Never mind. Yeah, no, don't save my progress. Okay, they removed a few. Okay, they removed meditation and another thing. Okay, that's gonna change that up a bit. I'm gonna have to figure that later. But yeah, monk. I'm very happy with how it looks. Okay, beast chakram gauge. Ordnance. Okay, elixir field, celestial revolution. Also open with lunar nadi and solar nadi. Oh god, I'm gonna have to mess with you later, aren't I? Once again, red mage is a mage that's wearing my summoner set, as you can see. Uh, red mage is a bit weird for me, but this is my hot bar for it, and all this and that. I know how balance works. Black mage is my least played mage in the game, so... Oh, sharp cast is gone. Goodbye. I mean, I didn't really use sharp cast personally anyways. Um... Alright, so funny thing. You might be like, wow, you got summoner... Oh, 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 wait. One, oh, dear. Mm -mm. Okay. You're probably thinking, wow, your summoner is... Uh, strange. Yes. You notice that my hotbar is quite empty? I'll tell you why. I play this on my Steam Deck. Summoner is honestly one of the best classes to play on the Steam Deck for DPS. And so I play Summoner on my Steam Deck. I do not play on my actual computer, as you can see. So it's its own thing on my Steam Deck. It's just basics here right now. It, there's really nothing. Machinist, looking good. Relic weapon and all. Heat gauge, I know how heat gauge works. Anything removed? Did I ever finish your bar? It looks like I did. Where's the chainsaw? Okay, I did. I got the air anchor, but yeah, this is the relic weapon. It looks pretty decent. I love the way I look right now, my machinist. Uh, then we got bard, which I am very happy with how my bard personally looks. I really am. Just look at him. Now that is how a bard should look. Now, I can show you the level 90 set personally for Bard. I don't care for it. I know how songs work. I'm, oh, wait, oh, I forgot they changed the songs and how they work, which honestly makes me happy. Yeah, um, I want physical DPS. So, let me see. Twin Fit? Wait, Viper? Oh, wait, let me see what the level 90 set for Viper. Oh, yeah, you can see I was messing with something. So, I do want to one day play as Viper, personally, because I see the inspiration from uh, judges from Final Fantasy XII, and also inspirations from uh, Zidane in uh, Final Fantasy IX, and I absolutely love Final Fantasy IX. 
Maybe I'll do this on my own time, level them up, and maybe play. And I do not like the shoes. No, 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 no. No, I don't like the shoes. The outfit looks meh, but it's not bad at all. All right, uh, let me see. Where is... Yeah, it's okay. Not my favorite. Wait, so that means Pictomancer's here, right? Magical range DPS. Yep, there it is. So Pictomancer, I'm not sure if I want to really get into it. It looks like a... Oh, wait, one second. I'm doing my best not to look over there, because I immediately see I don't think I'm going to like it. I don't like it. It's absolutely hideous. Jeez. Oh, no. I get Pictomancer's artsy, but I do not like that. All right, and then Dancer is, well, their own thing. I have the relic weapon made for it, like the others. Depths, I know how they work. And then the last one is Blue Mage, which you will not see me equipping because Blue Mage is not upgraded. So here's the thing. I really want to play this whole expansion as a tank. Bad news is, is I'm terrible as a tank. I'm a bit uncomfortable playing tank. I love Gunbreaker and I want to get more used to it. My problem is, is I didn't... I didn't do my best to practice doing dungeons with my tank. But it happens. Also, what? Additional actions. Baited Brand delivers a potency of 120. Noble Blood. It's Noble and Lion's Heart. Great Nebula reduces damage by 40% while I have oh, Nebula's here, which is 30%. Okay, 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 okay. And Reign of Beast, does that take over for double down? No, it doesn't. Interesting. So yeah, I'm going to attempt to, you know, go through the expansion as tank the best I can, but there will be times I will go DPS, maybe. Well, um, you know, personally, I think as nice as this armor is, it's a bit too much, honestly, for what we're about to do. Or, <clears throat> see, part of me wants to go Viper. It really does. Or do you unlock Viper? Oh, let me, hmm. Because I know right now, right now, people are going all for Viper all that. And that is going to be the most popular DPS in the game at the moment because it's new. You know what? Maybe I will start with Viper because worst comes to worst, I can always use the trust system. Yeah, you know what? Let me find out where the Viper quest is and we'll start with that. Why not? Except if we're going to do that, let me equip a different class so I'm not sticking out like a bloody sore thumb, eh? Oh yeah, we forgot. Drag? Wait, wait, they got rid of Dragon Sight? Oh, that's a shame. And they also got rid of Spine Shatter Dive. You know what, let me actually just equip uh, Machinist. At least that one I know how it works. And it doesn't look like much was changed with it. I need to really s remember my numbers for these. Uh... Sorry, I'm a bit of a mess. There we go. Okay, let me find out where Viper is, and I might go accept it. So I'll be back. All right, I know where to unlock it. And you know what? I'm going to do it. Uh, we have to go to Ulda, Steps Neld. Also, you have to forgive me. Pronunciation is not my forte. If the game sounds a bit low, please let me know, and I will turn it... Actually, I'll just turn it up a little bit right now. There we go. All right. Viper's here. All right, there. Enter the Viper. Because, honestly, yeah, worried Weaver. There you are. Excuse me, sir. Oh, wow, look at that Dragoon armor. That looks awesome. Enter the Viper. Gives you the soul of the Viper. Uh, snake bite attire and weathered twin fangs. Enter the Viper. Assisting this Weaver could be the beginning of a whole new adventure. You're the Venture, yes. 
There's a spot to bother over at the Weavers Guild, and we could use hands sorting it out. We received an order for a full assemble, but now that the work's been completed, the client refuses to pay. Mind you, I have a suspicious... I had my suspicions from the start. He's calling himself a viper, of all things. In my experience, people who name themselves after snakes are not to be trusted. In any case, he carries a pair of swords on his back. I hate to think of what would happen if we start wielding them in anger. If he started wielding them in anger. Could you head to the guild and smooth things over? Ooh, is that the music? Also, that is the level... Is that level? That's the level 80 set. I know that hat, I believe. Alright, so I have to go to the Weaver's Guild. So let me just go to the... I'm gonna go to the Crystal. And teleport there. So, I'm gonna teach you something. You're not gonna see much story this episode. Because... Weaver's? There it is. Uh, I'm going... To be learning... I'm going to show you the way I learn classes. It's going to be slow, and you're going to have to forgive me. It's a so-called... Oh, Jesus, people. Everyone, please, back up from the Viper. It's almost like everyone wants to play the class. I like the way it looks so far. Good day to you, stranger. I was hoping I might make the acquaintance of someone a bit rougher around the edges. Someone who's seen his fair share of action. Could you tell me what prey is worth hunting in the, this here part? These here parts. Have you any idea what he's talking about? I took no issue fulfilling his order, but now it's time for him to pay. It's as though we're talking talking at cross purposes. Likewise, I don't understand why this fellow is being so difficult. All I'm asking is for an outfit I ordered in the same of some critters worth killing. Oh, in the name of some critters worth killing. Sorry, sorry. Like I said, I'm going to screw up reading and the pronunciations. Oh boy. Also, the music sounds a bit low. I might have to turn up. I, I ought to explain from the beginning. I am Tural. Big old continent on the other side of salt west of here. You've been there, I reckon. Then you've seen some others who wield dual blades of vipers, uh, as were traditionally, traditionally known. Our duty is to hunt ferocious beasts that endanger the lives of that endanger the lives. Actually, let me turn you off. Thank you. I am reading. I don't want to be rushed. Uh, that endanger the lives of innocent folk. In fact, that's what brought me here. Thing is, all the fighting and long days on the road ain't been too kind to my gear. Reckon it was time I got a new getup, bespoke and all. Fascinating, I'm sure, but why do you refuse to pay for the order? Why are you so insistent that I choose my prey? Because how else am I supposed to pay you? Do us a favor and we'll hunt down the beast you want. That's the code, how we vipers do business. Hmm, so he wants you to tell him a target to kill, and that will pay for the outfit after he kills it. Um, weavers prefer more contra uh, conven conventional forms of compensation. That's so? So you're saying they want something else instead? Payment. Come sermon. With the skills and materials required. In guild, preferably. Oh, let me tell- let me guess, you're broke. Uh, well, didn't see that one coming. Guess that explains our little misunderstanding. But surely, your countrymen trade in some sort of currency, yes? Or are you viper so far removed from society as to be unaware of such concepts? Of course we know what money is. We ain't no bumpkins, but, uh... When it comes to requisitioning goods and services, I usually rely on the elders to deal with artisans and the like. Which is why I ain't in the habit of carrying significant sums. Ah, so be it. If your only form of payment is slaying beasts, then that shall have to do. As it so happens, one of my colleagues in Eastern Thalin report that merchants carrying our supplies were attacked by a wild fiend. What's more, the creature is a species of many-headed scale... 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 Oh, scalekin, sorry. Never before seen in this region, is rumored to have escaped from the Colosseum and has been running ramp rampant ever since. Scaly, lawheads. Alright, you got yourself a deal. 
deal. Considering the guild has already fulfilled its end of the bargain, you should count yourself lucky. Still, I hate for anything to go awry at this junction. I ask you a favor, friend. I'd like you to accompany him and ensure that he attend the creature as agreed. Besides, I dare say seeing a so-called viper at work would be an enlightening experience. The name's Kesha Keshkawa. Keshkawa. Pleasure to meet you. The creature was last seen near Camp Drive, so I advise you to begin there. Yeah, this episode's gonna be me unlocking this and then getting used to it. Camp Dry Bone it is. I know where that is. Because I can just do that. Yeah. Alright, everyone, do your thing. So what's a shame is I have the collector's edition, the only the digital. I'm not getting the physical. I don't have the money at the moment. Even though the statue's really nice and it's a shame I can't reclaim, uh, claim my items because I got Zidane here and I have the earrings which give you the plus 30% extra experience when you're up below level 90. But there's a mountain and all that, but you can't claim it until the 2nd of July because their services are currently still being worked on. Alright, Keshikawa, I'm here. Oh, hey, Ozma. This is Camp Drybone, huh? Hey, anyway, you ready to hunt? that look for? Oh, let me guess. You want to ask around first and see if anyone can point in the right direction. No need. The Weaver's friend told me plenty. All we gotta do is track down the beast, which is a viper specialty. Alright. Yeah, this episode's gonna be me unlocking viper and then getting used to viper. And I'll show you how I do it personally. Oh yeah, it's actually a big boy. It's a hydra type thing. It went after traders carrying Taylor's Taylor's materials, both cl bolts of cloth and whatnot. Don't sound too tasty to me, so I'm guessing it's the merchants themselves that the beast had its eyes on. Most predators use the sense of smell to pick out their meals. Scent carries on the wind, so you gotta consider the positions of the rocks and plants to determine how the air tends to flow through the area. Ain't too hard to do this where the critters made its lair after you've done all that. I forgot to turn my sound up. My bad. I just noticed. Yep, that's a big one. Mean looking too. Must be re wrecking havoc on the food chain. Never mind the danger it possesses to locals. Well, time to do what a viper does best. Oh yeah, I didn't need to come. Holy cow, you had that solved. That's it. So you like the show? Don't play coy. I can see you're intrigued. A little bit. But before I spill all my secrets, I got a question for you. Ever heard of Tarol Vidral? No. That, though not. Well, they're a rare breed of beast that wields all kinds of powers. They got no right to. A threat to every other living thing that has the rarity to breathe in their victims. The vicinity, sorry. Because of their long lifespans and unnatural abilities, they were dubbed the Tyrants of Tyrael. That more or less what the name means. Anyway, someone's got a hunt turl vigil. That and that someone is us, the Vipers. You know, I met a fair few a fair few adventures during my time here. I can tell you're cut above the rust. I can have what it takes to be a viper. There's the stone. If you're interested, I can teach you. One condition. You help me hunt down a Turl Vidral that made its way to the Eorzea. What do you say? Ha. <laughs> Hell of a thing to ask Gala Blue. I know. Just think of it some, will ya? 
Let's head back to Ulda. Tell the weavers. Weaver fellow, we're square. The journey I'll give you some time to consider my offer. Will do. You know, I'm thinking I might accept. I'm curious to see what your guys' moveset is and the combos. Hmm. Also, I'm sorry if my mouse bothers you, but this game kind of needs the mouse on my screen. All right, let me adjust my sound. I'm sorry it's low. You forget, uh, like I said, I'll turn this on, just up to 100 immediately. We'll turn BGM though down a little bit more. Sound effects go up a bit. We'll just turn everything up, okay? There we go. Alright, everything should be louder now. There we go. Now I actually has... Because I grind while watching videos on my other little uh, screen that I have. And so, yeah. I tend to turn the game sound down and have things blaring in my ears while I'm doing, like, grinding and raids and all that. Alright, let's do this. Let's get it. I just gave our weaver friend the good news, and he handed over a set of fancy duds as props. I say it was worth the trouble. So, got my offer. You ready to become a viper and protect folks from the nastiest beast that ever lived? Do you wish to become a viper? Yes. Mighty fine answer. I'll make a viper out of you. Just see if I... Just see... Wait. I'll make a viper out of you. Just see if I don't. First order of business. Let me give you this here soul crystal. Contains knowledge of our fighting arts passed down since ancient times, from one generation of vipers to the next. Assuming you got a knack for it, our skills can be yours too. Everyone's turning into vipers, and it's so annoying. I've also got a fresh set of viper gear for you. The Weaver's Guild wanted me to thank you for overseeing our hunt earlier. So they made you your very own outfit. <laughs> Guess that fella took your measurements by eye or something. Oh, and... The blades are a couple of spares of it handy. Try it all on for size and let me get a look at you while you're at it. Alright, let's see what I look like. Also, nice duds. I want that outfit. Hmm, I like that. Unlocked. So, get ready to see a casual play a game. Alright, let's do this. And, where is it? Do, 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 do. The Viper is here. Now let me add it. Viper is right above Samurai. You know, that's not bad. Recommended gear, please. Thank you. Alright. Alright, give me a second. I have to move some things. You need to go here, and I need to shrink you just a little bit. I don't know what you are yet. I'll move you about right there. Alright, we officially have Viper. Now here's the thing. I do not know how to play Viper. And so, let me just move some things here. Teleport, sprint. Alright, it's time. We'll continue this quest in a second. I'm about to show you how I practice classes. It's a wonderful thing called the Palace of the Dead. And I shall explain it in a second. Just give me a second. Viper, Sight. Viper engages enemies mainly through use of three-step combos. The primary combos beginning with either Steel Fang or Dread Fangs. The third step can end with one of several weapon skills. One of each grants the effect of strengthening a different combo ending action. To reach these actions will require use of specific combo moves. The glow of Viper's Sight's blades corresponds with the outletting of the hotbar items. Okay. So, this is how I... Pr that is hideous. But yeah, uh, this is how I practice. This is it. Yep, level one. Okay. Okay, we're good there. Give me a second. Where's my sustaining potions? Put you there. Alright, now I want to put my actions here. So I can access it. 
All right, we're gonna put Fate there, Second Wind here, Leg Sweep there, Bloodbath is more useful, so you get there. Arm's Length will go here, then True North. You're curious, I bet. So let's do this. Reset, uh, Palad. No, nah, we'll keep. Uh, yeah, Paladin. All right. I will start momentarily. I have to go do something, but when I come back, oh, don't you worry. All right, sorry about that. I had to go uh, grab my mother from work and bring her home. All right, I am back. Let's do this. So how I test new classes and all that, which ignore these up here, is um, I go to the Palace of the Dead because enter with fixed party. Yes, enter alone. Enter floor one. This is honestly, for me, the best way to learn a class. You get, like, 30, what is it, 60 minutes to do 10 floors. Ooh, look at these. So right now, I am officially a level one Viper. And my goal is to get the floor 10. All right, so now I am now level one Viper. I'm going to start learning the move set and as I level up. Now I'm level 2. And Palace of the Dead, the max level, I believe, is 60. And you level up a lot faster than you do the base game. And but honestly, for me, it's the best way to learn a class. Like with Paladin and all that, you come in here, take everything off your hotbar, start fresh, and as you go, you get your hotbar ready. This is how I do it. This is the boring part, but this is FF14 for me. I'm out level 30. That sucks. Okay, so oh, Palace of the Dead. Also, I like the icon. Palace of the Dead, um, it has traps. One of them will spawn a bunch of enemies. One of them is a land mine, which will take away, what is it, 60, 65% of your health. And one of them will turn you into a frog. And then one of them eh, lowers your attack and makes it so your defense is also lowered and you take more damage. So right now, I have enough kills. I could leave at the Kara in the Passage, but for the first few floors, I like to do a kill everything because I want to level up as fast as possible. I am now level 5 with Hunter's Instinct. What's Hunt? Wait, damage dealt increased. What? That's new. Where'd that come from, Hunter's Instinct? Is that a trait? No. Okay, I get Dread Fangs at level 10, which is, of course, a, is a combo? Maybe, we'll worry about when I level up. Okay, my friends are messaging me one second. They want to play Faz in 30 minutes because a new level is out called the Lighthouse, which looks really cool. I might record that one. But yeah, uh, with this... This is how you do it. So I will explain certain things. Pomodoro strengths are really, really good. They increase your damage and HP recovery by 30%. Affluence increases number of treasure chests on the next floor. Light decreases number of enemies on the next floor. And then intuition, which is what you want for treasure, treasure chests, the hidden ones, they show you where the hidden chest is, which will give you a... Uh, what are they called again? I know I have some. Oh, I can't check my saddle bag. God damn it. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I just noticed something. I actually did just... Wait, no. Sprint goes here. Right, right, right. I like sprint there, personally. Alright, actually, give me a second. I'm gonna attack once. What is this? Hunter Sting. Okay, so that's one of the changes they did. They simplified the hot bars a bit because they're getting convoluted. Okay, so now that's overlaying each other. It can only be executed. Uh, delivers an attack with a potency of 240. Grants Hunter's Instinct, which is right there. Which increases your damage by 10%. Okay. Or that's just a class thing. But weird thing is that ability is not here. Ah. These, oh, okay. Oh, oh, geez, that's a lot of abilities that cannot be assigned to the hop bar. Right, so technically, I have kind of a combo going.
I also might do Pictomancer and do that a little bit and try it out. Someone just spawns in my left, but I don't care. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I might do Pictomancer too. Try it out. See if I like it. I just do not like the armor, personally. Oh. I'm about to level up. And next kill will level me up, and I shall be a level seven. Goodbye. All right, my. Also, with this, there are blue chests in the uh, Palace of Dead, Heaven on High, and the Orthos one. And they will upgrade your weapon here and armor by one level. My armor is max rank. My weapon is missing a uh, couple levels. I could, um... Yeah. So you can uh, you decrease the level of these, but keep the weapons, because... Honestly, they look pretty decent, not gonna lie. Yeah, landmine. I don't want to die, it's way too soon. Thank you. A little of a waste of bloodbath, but whatever. Which bloodbath uh, will convert some of your physical damage into HP, which is pretty useful. Especially if you're playing solo at the moment and you don't want to use a potion, because... Yeah. Also, you got second wind for that too. All right, got Pompadour Sight, which shows the entire map and all the traps, and safety removes all traps on the current floor, which, yeah, will be useful. Cause somebody's going around this place and decides to plant slam mines everywhere. The next floor, floor four. Changes. All right, what do we have? I'll take you, Intuition. Give me another one, and I'll look for a hidden chest. You can only hold a max of three, so right now I can't hold any more steals, which decrease damage received by 40%, which is really good. But yeah, I can't hold any more of those, so if another one comes, it will tell me. You cannot hold any more of this item. Goblin. How you doing, buddy? Let's not do that. Ah, see, okay. He uh, has a steal by returning to the coffer because I can't hold it. I'm gonna pop a steal, and for eight minutes, I take 40% less damage. Landmines still do the same amount, so don't go too crazy. I am level 10, meaning I get to red the pain. Which I'll put on my hot bar in one second. Alright. I now got Dreadfang. Whatever that is. Dreadfang uh, flicks target with noxious uh, gash. Increases damage you deal by 10% for 20 seconds. Well, if I do this... Okay. Interesting. Ah, see? Affluence is now... Okay. On the next floor, let's do it. So on, so on. You don't want to pop them too early. So don't want to be too stingy sometimes. That's the way the game is. Let's do this. And then, uh, sometimes in Palace of Dead, you'll have a chance of having certain... Uh, Floor traits, like this floor has HP and MP boost, raising all your HP and MP maximum. For everybody, your maximum uh, MP is like, a th not 1,000, but like 10,000, and now I'm at 11,500. My, well, my HP is still low, 347, but for me, it's probably really high. All right, let's increase the damage I do to you. Maybe I'll move this guy here. 
if it's not, if it, at the moment I don't know if it is or not, but I'm, oh, wait, it actually leveled it up? Usually it doesn't level it up. By the way, at the moment, these are synced down, because you don't want to be too overpowered. When you go above 450, these become unsynced. And you can solo these up to 4100, I would not recommend it, I still have yet to do so. It's very hard, and certain bosses require you to do certain stat grads. Alright, let's do it. Give you a nasty gash. There we go. Alright. Once again. Nasty gash. And kill. Alright, alright. Fluent. I popped the wrong one. Mistakes happen. This means it's renewed. Alright, hey buddy. You're dead. Anything in here? Yeah, that's what I expect. The it remains unchanged, especially at this level. I'm shocked I gained the level from that. Um, so I am gonna be playing the entire story of Dawn Trail and future patches that add story I plan on doing. Maybe one day I'll also do the New Game Plus mode, which will let you do... Um, I'll show you after. It will let you do all the original story all over again. Because, it, um, personally, barely remember anything that happens in the game. It's because I fall off and on this game like crazy. There we go. So this is good. You want to pop that and keep that up. You want to maximize your damage. And then this combo gives you the ability which... And now the opposite. Now my HP and MP is decreased. Oh. And then this... Okay, okay. So basically these two make it so you do more damage, meaning I might have a different combo in the future than Steel Fangs. Which the next ability I get will be at 15, which I believe is AoE, Withering Snap, if I had a guess. Hey boys, how you doing? I mean... Oh, yep. Okay, this can enhance the, uh, not enhance, but, um, uh, make your second move on that go rather than casting Steel Fangs. This will immediately go to after Steel Fangs to increase your attack. Well, these two can go together. Intuition, perfect. I can pop that and show you what it does. Okay, it's, the Cursed Horde is not on this floor, or you'll have an icon here. There's a goblin, but I'm gonna ignore it for now. I'm also near floor 10, which after that, I'll be back to my regular level. Oh, music change again. The Cursed Horde is that yellow beam, and when there is one up here, it'll say you detect the Cursed Horde on this floor. That is the Accursed Horde. Let's go get it. I got Rithering Snap, which I will learn about after. Perfect. Oh, we got another one. Alright, we're good now for a few seconds. Yeah, ranged attack. I'll put it there temporarily. There we go. God damn it. Got Pomodoro safety. Hey, boys, how you doing? 
Alright, what's Whirling Slash look like? Let's figure it out. Oh, Withering Snap. Oh, wait. Oh, that's your ranged attack. Okay, let's put you there for now. Which, 200? Like, the combo here is 240 of a potency. But the potent for that is 200, which honestly... Let's see. Uh, how long until you go away? Because I'm curious to see the potency of that by itself. Let me see. Alright. Okay, that's actually a pretty decent attack. I was wondering if it had a range, and right now it does. So yes. Alright, you do 180 by yourself. So this is technically stronger in your first attack, but there's nothing to combo with it. This is just... For one of those moments when giant AoE is around a boss and you can't attack it. Alright. Immediately, more damage. And a withering snap. Okay, okay. Get over here. There we go. Like this. You back out of the AoE and life do its thing. Uh, Pomodoro Fortune, and do I really want to open that? I got to get blown up. Nope, just Aether Pool. Okay. I don't need a Phoenix down, or I got one. In this game, you can only have one Phoenix down. Only one. I might get it. And let's do that. I will do this. And double the out attack. Kill you. Goodbye. Alright. I'm liking what I'm feeling so far. It's only a couple things, but still, I like it. So Palace Hornets, I recommend killing as fast as possible because if their health is low and you let them do their thing, they will use Final Sting. It will kill them, but they will take you unless you have a lot of defense with it. Final Sting hurts a lot. Probably get another attack at level 20, I guess. I'll do that on you. There we go. Pop door steel, pop it. Technically, I could have waited until I could leave this place, but nah, I'm not worried about it right now. Let's immediately do that. And then we're good there. Yeah, I got feeling level 20 will give me my next ability. Get, is that level 20? It's a weapon skill, and once again, it's combined. Okay. Now let's do this. Switch view. No, that didn't help me at all. Okay, we'll see what it does. Look at all these enemies. I smell like a pig. Cast time. Re oh, I am faster. I can definitely tell. I'm gonna have to look at the potency. This one's a 240. That also is 240. Okay. 
So you just gotta balance out and keep your buffs activated. Okay. So that actually means I could probably move this down here. I like the look of that attack more. Alright, we'll move you here for now. Actually, I like where you are at the moment. We'll leave you there. Climb to our side. We're on floor 8. We got one more before the boss. There's always a boss on the 10th floor. They're all the same. And by that I mean they're not randomized. You know what the bosses are every time you're about to hit the 10th floor. The 50th floor and the 100th floor have the special bosses. Alright. Oh, wait. Ooh. Hmm. That looks alright. The stationary. Do this. Alright, let's get my bumps back up. And you. Okay, okay. You gotta be fast, you gotta keep going, you can't stop. pop. There is not one on this floor, so that is nothing for me. One in the second, someone texted me. I'm gonna put auto run right on and let's see if I die. There's an enemy to my left. I heard you. Uh, we'll go back and kill this enemy. I think it's closer anyways. And hopefully it's enough to activate the passage. I heard you. There you are. Alright, let's do that. That's enough. Perfect. Alright. We're going to do the boss. I'm going to increase my strength. I'm going to... Hopefully we have enough defense to last. We have three minutes. It should be good. The first boss isn't too tough. Alright, let's do this. It's just a bird. Yep, there you are. Come here. Let's do you. Honestly, what? There we go. We'll activate Bloodbath. And now we go. I get some experience, trim sack, which is an important thing. Not too important, unless you really want the stuff from it. Ah, look at you rubbing it in. Yeah, you go to the bishop, and you turn in the pieces of a cursed horde. And it's a headdress that I'm just going to immediately throw away, because I do not want it. So, for the weapons, if you want to keep them, you talk to her and you say, Wrong one. No. Yeah, request to keep your Aether Pool gear. And you can either keep them. And. But first, you have to forge an Aether Pool grip. It will take 10 levels away from your armor and your weapon. And you'll have to regain them. 
and each one costs three, but if you want the really good ones, which are these, they will cost six, but you also need the original weapon to begin with, which are these. So you'll still need, let me see, uh, nine. Only nine total. Let me see, the Viper weapon, no, that's daggers. What the, what's Viper's, uh, uh, there you are not. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, the Viper weapon is here. Oh, I forgot I was looking at that. Oh, I hate that armor. I'm gonna immediately just take it off and just display my gear. Thank you. Uh, let me see. I'm getting used to the Viper. Ah, oh, there it is. This is the level one. This isn't until level 50. That's what they'll look like. A little plain, but that's what they look like. But yeah, let me show you what I was talking about. So, maybe one day I'll do it, but there is a thing called New Game Plus. You can replay any part of the game, the story, I mean, and you can play a new game plus Endwalker, Shadowbringer, Stormblood, Heaven's Ward, in the original game. And then you have the eras, you can play the raids, play all these, Chronicles of Light, and all these. Yes, I don't do a lot of things. Shocker. And then you have the roll quests. Healer quest, DPS, crafters, and gatherers. I only done some crafters, no gather. Uh, I only done some gatherers, no crafters. And now I'm curious. I want to try. Uh, so I would try the pictomancer, but I want to keep messing with viper at the moment. Let's see. Because I was expecting to. If these can't be assigned. So honestly, do I really have to do this? Steel Maw delivers... Ah, this is the AoE. Dread Maw. Potency of 80 to all nearby enemies. That is another AoE. Blither. That is a rush. No. There we go. Changes Death Rattle or Last Lash when requirements for execution are met. That, I don't know what that is. And then there's all these abilities mixed in with these abilities. So, yeah. Hmm. So, personally, I think I'll do more of this on my own time. But we can Um. I'm curious. Let me go to Pictomancer and unlock that. I might as well. Yeah, it's level 80. You just gotta do 10 levels, which. Eh. Why do I have that ring of all rings on? Oh, right. I emptied my inventory of everything. Look how neat my inventory is here. It's so nice. Yeah, Viper feels, so far, pretty... Honestly, pretty good. Oh, yeah, let me show you my mounts. I don't have many mounts. So don't expect too much here. Like, these are all my minions. I only got, like, a few pages worth of minions. I just got the wind up silf recently. Also, say hello to the great serpent of Ronka. Scree. That's all you need to know. But yeah. This one. And all these. Yeah. But mounts are more important. I got three pages of mounts. Not many, but it's some. You got the Phoenix, which was a thing. I got Kieran, which is a mount you can get by doing all the extremes of a Realm Reborn and farming him and getting the mount for each single primal. The unicorn is a different thing, ignore that. Yeah, all them, you get you. And then this boy. Oh yeah, he's great. Then you, and then you. I sadly can't get the Ark. Then I got all the birds, so I got Fancy Bird, the Fire Bird, and I got all the dogs giving me this one, which actually I might make my main mount for... And then you got the Fat Cat, which honestly is my favorite description. Better Cat, seeing how this Percy Pussy can defy the very laws of physics by propelling itself high into the ferment, it's very likely the creatures either avoid scent using a bloated cap's corpse or a corporeal vessel. Or a, dec a deceased pet reanimated by one of the well-versed in the necroma necromantic arts. This isn't the, the entire city would be overrun with large testic testic testicled raccoon dogs and flying rainbow cats. But yeah, one of my 
favorite oops one of my favorite mounts look at it look at this mount look at it feel the doom this one i believe i bought on the mog shop it's just a cat i swear it's not a void scent who's controlling a bloated cat's cor cat's corpse or anything but yeah i think for my viper this will be my mount If you're wondering why, how I got all these mounts, solo grinding. You might think, you can't solo bosses, you can. Also, um... Why not? Let's hop in a roulette. I could use one. I'm gonna go on a sage and I'll show you my saging. Yeah, we got, re we got regular duties and all that. I'll only be using getting gaining regular uh, tome stones because you have to be max level with a class to get the new tome stones, which are tome stones of aesthetics. You have to be the max level of that DLC or expansion to even get those from roulettes. So all these I'm just getting experience and money for. Let's do just a normal raid. I don't know how fast Q is going to be. 16 minutes? I don't think it's going to be that long. And I'm going to drink some OJ. I'm drinking it for the experience. I'm not really drinking it for the stat boost. And then for this guy, I'm using this. It's a, I like this mount a lot. I also like the music on the mounts. I really do. But if you really want, I could be a really cool healer. Uh, one second. I can use... Uh, wait, where are you, Mount? I can use the motorcycle. A fancy sevens motorcycle. Oh yeah, you can fly in these areas. You just have to unlock flying harmony from the heavens. Oh, you're barred. Right, 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 right. I've yet to do that one. Oh, I'm number seven in the roll waiting list. Okay. Um, you know, while I'm doing this, I can look up where to unlock Pictomancer and mess with that one. Oh, I immediately got the location. Now let's do this. Hey, this is a roulette. Uh, basically, roulettes are dailies you can do that give you experience, gill, and when you're max level of that expansion, which right now will be 100, you get the new two tombstones for equipment. Oh, we're doing this one. Alright, immediately popping you, locking my taskbar. Do not need to mess with that. Gotta turn the party. Say hello to Pandemonium. It's a weird spider-type, castle-type creature. Um, yeah, I'm not explaining all this. Maybe one day, but not now. But yeah, you know someone's new when they're viewing the cutscene. Let's do this. Nice blade. Look at that. I don't care for this theme, but this raid does have some good songs, though. Yeah, this is the level 90 raid. Pandemonium. This is the 10th circle. Okay, here we go. I should play the same. Oh. Wait, I'm, I can now do that? Oh. They changed that. You will go no further. What was that? I think the man's just doing a thing. Nope. Don't need you dying. This 
Prison offers no escape. Alright, this one is a kill away, right? Yeah, get away. You are not standing up. in this one. You do not want to stand out. Yep, there it is. The halo. You might be confused at what I'm doing. Don't worry. Right, let me pop shield to everybody. If I just do this. By the way, it will These bars are unbreakable. go over the web, over the poison, or the poison will absolutely destroy you. He is about to destroy that entire platform with that jump. It covers everything. There is no safety there. And now, right about. Someone's a Pictomancer. I'm feeling the pain in this. I know it's your pandemonium, that's your name. Alright, is it a runaway or stay in? Run away. Good, no one got in it. Stay where you are. You are the time that not me. Get ready. Not good, not good, not good, not good. This is the fun part. This is me. This is the healing spot. This is all me and the white man. King Wind Cup. The big one. Get up there. We lost one. We lost the tank. Are you gonna revive him? Yes, he has a key. He's swift cast. I'm gonna leave him. Oh. Oh, the fun fact, with Sage, I want crits. With crits, I can actually double the shield that I give my allies. It's something I want. Okay, I need a Suna you get my allies. Special cells. You're more important. You 
Accommodation, you vote for whoever impressed you the most. I'll give it to oh, the white mage. You tried, you kept people up. That's all I care about. I shall leave the items to all of you, and I got accommodation for that. Nice. Okay, that's uh, one of the dailies. It's random. Uh, dailies are random. Also, is it about that time? Are they in VC waiting for me? They are. All right, I shall end this here for now. I might do Pictomancer next, but yeah. Um, this first episode's gonna be a little short, but yeah, I'm going to probably do a little Pictomancer next time. I'll also do more of this and Palace of the Dead on my own, so you don't have to watch me do it. But yeah, uh, so far I like the speed and the strength of what you can do, but then again, I'm at only doing very little what I am capable of. But yeah, I'll mess around with it, and I like to see you next time. We'll have to do story, and goodbye. Alright, I know I said the episode was gonna end here, but I had a feeling. So, I'm gonna get used to Pictomancer and Viper, so I'm gonna do the opening quest for Pictomancer also. Also, enjoy my umbrella. It's one of the only fashion accessories I have, and it's the cat. The fat cat umbrella, too, and you can dance. Woo! But yeah, I'm gonna talk to the Pictomancer quest giver and accept it. I'm gonna... I know it's here. Ah, there you are. The Joy of Pictomancy. Would've been quicker if I took a... crystal there, but... Ah, well. New Grindia. The place I spend most of my time when I'm not questing. This is where I got my start, literally. I started as a Lancer, which became Dragoon later on when you advanced the, the class. Then later on, I went for White Mage, and, well, I mained heals ever since. If you're wondering, I have messed with... I'll put the umbrella away for now. I've messed with it a bit. So you might think there's not much on my hotbars, but believe it or not, um... Let me show you. A lot of these attacks, like Steel Fang, Dread Fangs, and all that, all their combos are here and they cannot be assigned and that's what these become and honestly i really like the flow but now it's time to check pictomancer out so i can also mess with that off screen the joy of pictomancy the cheerless hair is at the is at an end of his tether help me one more complete this thing i swear oh, are you a dude or a chick i can't tell look at me dude okay <laughs> Forgive my rambling. Oh, please, tell me if you haven't come to make a complaint. Uh, I'll have you know my day is going swimmingly. <laughs> well, I should warn you that Mughal has been making a nuisance of himself here in Grindia. The palmed pest has been harassing adventurers in an attempt to rope them into some painting endeavor. Despite the lack of interest, he refused to give up. You're an adventurer, sort. Are you not? If so, you'd be wise to give that Moogle a wide berth. Unless you are the artistic adventuring sort, 
I suspect he's loitering in the Ethernet Plaza, if my tale has piqued your interest. Thank you. Okay. That's a lot of Pictomancer. Mm -hmm. Ah, you're right there. Okay, you're literally right there next to the serpent. Uh, <sighs> Grand Company. I should have gotten more of those irregular tombstones and gotten the other umbrella, because this umbrella is nice and all, but a regular won't be nice. Oh, well. All right, let's go see what the Moogle's up to. Oh, that's not... Nope, stop. There we go. All right. All right, Moogle, show up while I'm sipping my coffee. That must be the Moogle. You there, Capone. How do we like to do some painting? Wow, man, that's my Moogle voice, eh? Wow, good job, me. No, not ordinary painting, mind you. Magic painting, where your works come to life. Your imagination's the limit. I saw, uh, I don't know what I'm going for here. Hey, I have that chest piece. You get that from the Void Arc raid, I believe. The Void Arc, um, chest piece of healing. Ah, Koopa nuts. Why won't anyone give me a chance? I can do so much good with the power of Pictomancy. Hmm. I might be interested to learn more about Pictomancy. What, what did you say, Koopa? You're not pulling my palm, are you? You should know more about Pictomancy, truly. Oh, that Koopa noise. Oh. Hot Fantasy 9, Koopa. Hooray! Hooray! The name's Kupopo! Wait, Kapu... Kapopo. Kapopo? I'm extremely pleased to meet you, Kupo. I'm an inheritor of Pictomancer Soul Crystal, and I seek creative individual who can carry on this arcane artistry. A history lesson is in order. <clears throat> Pictomancy is conceived some 1500 years ago in the dusk of the 5th Astral Era, while other schools of magic uh, that origi uh, originated during the period, such as black and white. Our expressions of the captors will, Pictomancy relies on something even more abstract, the imagination. By channeling Aether into concept held in their mind's eye, a Pictomancer can give form to the formless. I'm impressed. It's a bit tricky to wrap your head around, I know. And that's precisely why the great Conradalum, founder of Pictomancy, incorporated the painter's tools into our art form, or into the art. A gifted artist as well as mage, Realm, ah ha 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 ha, Final Fantasy, Realm is Final Fantasy 6 if I'm correct, right? Funny. A gifted artist as well as mage, Realm took up the brush instead of a staff, and wielded aether-like paint to give shape to her imaginations. In this way, was Pictomancy born, a magical discipline unlike any other Kupo. Now, Realm was a charitable soul and never ever used her power for self-serving ends. She dedicated her life in, to aiding and defending those in need. During the War of the Magi, Realm traveled the land and saved countless people with her Pictomancy, and it was for those deeds that she earned a place among the Twelve Archons. So how about that? We'd like to take up an Arkans noble legacy, become a dare say it, a realm reborn. Oh god. <laughs> ah, that's cute. Final Fantasy 14, a realm reborn. Ha ha ha. I'm taking a screenshot and I'm showing it to my friend. Oh, I can't take a screenshot. Print screen. Thank you. Oh, damn. Wonderful, Kupo. Your enthusiasm warms my heart. As I have only one crystal, soul crystal, however, I must ensure that I entrust it to the right person. Therefore, before I give you this dazzling opportunity, I require you to attend a job interview. Oh, man, you're not making this easy. 
seek me out the Caroline Canopy, and be sure to come prepare with your fanciest pictomancy -est answers for my flurry of professional questions. Off he goes. Well, at least he's happy now, I guess. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, there it is. Okay, my character broke. I mean, it just came out. It's 8 o'clock my time. Hmm. Explains why I'm getting a little tired. If I refuse. I think I'll unlock Pictomancy and I'm gonna play a little Elden Ring. I'll get my blood pumping. With anger, maybe. Alright, Koopapo. Ah, there you are. I want to invite you into my cozy little hovel and pull out tea and biscuits, except I don't have a cozy little hovel, or any home to speak of, for the matter. Such a, is life as an inter, internet moogle Koopo. I haven't a guild of my name either, so I can't aff uh, order us tea and biscuits, but we can avail ourselves of a table. You know, I'm happy when moogles are quiet. I don't like it when they talk. And 13, uh, it's so annoying. That Moogle. And then seven remakes Moogles are just hideous beyond belief. <clears throat> but the power rested me, I now pronounce this interview commenced, Koopo. Let's begin with the basics. My of your full name. Uh, I am Bader Torgood. <laughs> Fine name. Well met, Bader Torgood. If you're wondering how I got that name, uh, Almost Ward is actually a name uh, I stuck with for a long time. Bear Torgood, random name generator in this very game. I just kept hitting random until I finally had something that finally was accepted. Stuck with it ever since. Right, on to the next question. What do you consider the primary vocation? Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I really want to say that. I'm going to. I'm, uh, between jobs at the moment. Oh, I apologize if I asked a sensitive question. But take heart, my friend. If you pass my interview, you'll become a certified Pictomancer and all the realm shall... Ooh, and ah, at you. And moving along to the next question, how would you rate your artistic abilities? Oh, okay, I'm gonna be truthful. Uh, my stick figure drawings are second to none. Well, I, for one, think stick figures are wonderful, as is your honest answer. You'll be pleased to know that Pictomancer, Pic Pictomancy relies more on one's imagination than their artistic abilities, so don't fret about your... <laughs> lack of the latter. I can't talk today. Speaking of imagination, let's try and put yours to work. Tell me the first th uh, thought that enters your mind when you hear the word Moogle. Fluffiness of fun, ear. Uh. <laughs> I think of furry little shites. <laughs> I, I, I beg your pardon, that's a rather unsettling answer. But I suppose there's a fine line between genius and madness. I won't dwell on it, Koopo. <laughs> Now, the next question is very important. Someone's in trouble. What do you do? Uh, help them without question. Speak to them uh, first. Engage the problem. Ask what they're... Nah, usually I help without question in this game. I didn't expect any other answer, Koopo. If I may ask a follow-up question, can you share a recent example of when you approach a soul in distress? Uh, yes, actually. Come again. A hearer who has been... In with complaints about my picked uh, oh yeah picked the manty pitches yep oh yeah that's rather disheartening koopo but this isn't about me what's more important is that you are not uh, are not want to ignore the plight of another the willingness to serve a greater purpose and emulate ink Archon Realm's example is the key to becoming a truly talented Pictomancer. Having considered your answers, I reckon you have what it takes to become a capable Pictomancer. I'm relieved I found you, Koopo. 
I deem you worthy of the soul crystal. However, I should warn you that it comes with more proverbable, proverbable little strings attached. A bit of emotional baggage, too. You see, several moons ago, I got a terrible argument with my best friend. We went our separate ways, and I have not seen her since. I wish I could meet her again and try to reconcile more than anything. So, if we hear... So, if we hear aught of her during the journey together, i like you to lend, a hand, uh, lend me a helping hand. Sure. If you're still willing to train as a pictomancer with this condition in mind, then the soul crystal's yours. Just say the word, Koopo. So, just like the uh, Viper, where, hey, we have to kill this certain beast, you have baggage and you got in a fight with your friend. All right. So you wish to become a Pictomancer and fully acceptance of my condition? I will. Then as promised, I, I didn't even have a chance to accept. Okay. Then as promised, I bestow you the Soul Crystal. And uh, tell me it's our prayer set of equipment. Hopefully it fits well, Koopo. All right. Give me a Pictomancer unlocked. All right. Let me get over here. And immediately, I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, you have to give me a second. Oh God, it's so ugly. I hate it. Oh. No, 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 no. We gotta move. Pick. No, move it up. Keep moving. Move it where the spellcasters are. At least, yeah, move it right where Summoner is. Come on. We're almost there. You got this, and we're good. God. Alright, let me move the HUD. The canvases. I will also shrink them, because they're a bit big. 80? Yeah, we'll do 80. I'll stick them right in the middle so I can see. There we go. Hey, sleep! A useless spell I'm gonna immediately get rid of. Alright, we have Pictomancer and jeez, I'm happy. Okay, uh, this one's gonna be holy and white. Oh man. Okay, um. No, get away from you. Put you over here. Same with return. Alright, I'm actually going to take you with one round of the also dead as the Pictomancer. I want to show you a little bit of what the Pictomancer can do in the first 10 levels. The Pictomancer reverse landscapes, weapons, canvas, creature, multi-living and uses, picture, palm, wings, Moogle portrait, mog, ash. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna really have to get... Oh, there's another one. Oh, damn it. Um, okay. Move you over here. You can also get strong. Right, we'll put you here. Here. Alright, that works. For now. Alright, we all know what's about to happen. By the way, this episode, if you do want to not watch, I mean, I understand because it's mostly me messing around trying to learn these classes. Fine, it really is. I blame you. With cast is important. Lucid dreaming. Leave. Get rid of. Paddle. All right. Let's just go in and see what can happen here. Uh, warrior. I'll delete your progress. I can redo it. Enter with fixed party. Yes, I know. All right. Let's try Pictomancer starting from level one. Spellcasters are not my forte in the game, but if I can find a... I want to either be a Viper or a Pictomancer. If I don't really care... Oh, which, by the way, Viper, when you get to level 40, oh boy, you can make yourself flow. All right, let's see what I can do. All right, this is weird. The animations are definitely... Something. Holy cow, they're actually really... Wow. The animations for Pictomancer are definitely, uh, not weird, unique. That's it. They're definitely way more detailed than a lot of their animations. Just look at that. Alright, I'm level 
three. I will get my first thing at... Oh, wait. Oh, there's an action change here. So the first ability I get... Is that level 10? Actually, I can get arrow green. So here's what I noticed. Newer classes, you get some moves, but then a lot of them don't even... You can't assign to your hotbar. Which... I, I like that it helps with the hot bar clutter. I really do. I hope they don't overdo it to make it feel like the... Well, we'll see. I have... I've only gotten a little 40. And dead. But yeah, I do not like Pictomancer's outfits at all. Honestly, if I play Pictomancer, I'm gonna have to do something, because... Ooh! I need an outfit that screams I'm a spellcaster, not this mishmash of colors. I'm not saying it wouldn't look good on someone else, but I absolutely hate it. By the way, I'm not gonna do any more of these on screen. I extremely doubt you guys need to watch me do this. You can watch me when I have all my abilities and have everything to the most part, you know, under in hand. I'm familiar with them. This is me just showing you a little bit of what some of the abilities can do, except, uh, yeah. And I'll be doing all these off screen, of course. Take my time, pop a video in the corner, and try and get the feel of it. Like Viper? Ooh, man, that, that, that class actually really flows really well. And I actually like what I have going for it right now. Pictomancer, if I like it, I will be interested in playing it. Right now, the animations... They're good. Thanks, game. Alright. My fun question. I know the answer, but still I'm gonna ask it. Who is the idiot who's going around Palace of the Dead, Heaven on High and all that, and just placing landmines for fun? I want them to be fired. Oh, there it is. There's the arrow. Arrow, that's an 88. Arrow does 103. Which this has a potency of 222. And arrow has a potency of 260. Okay. So those two share a button. So I do not have to worry about having to go back to back. It's in a way, it's combo. If you're new to FF14 and you wonder why your MP never goes up when you level, uh, a few expansions back, they... Because MP used to go above 1,000. Uh, 10,000, my bad. But they changed it a while back. Let me see the animation real quick for this. Uh, it's actually all right. You see the burst of the wind. Yeah, it's not bad. But, um, yeah, a while back they changed your max MP and they brought every cost down or up. They rebalanced the game and they took a thing called TP out, which was, uh, you know what? Great change. Not gonna lie, that one could have won. <laughs> wow, I'm shocked. That, okay, I'm 99 on both of them. Let me see, do I like this? No, not really. The problem is, if Pictomancer is fun, my problem is it's outfits, honestly. Alright. Alright, I'm level 7. So, so far, I really like the animations of what Pictomancer has going for it. That's cute. I like the 8 bit art style. Come on. There we go. Alright, level 9. So yeah, no matter what you do, your MP will always be at 10,000. But honestly, I would say that was a decent change in the end. Because if you play smart, you should never need more MP than that. There's a thing called lucid dreaming. This guy right here, he'll be your pal for spellcasters. 
The only time you'll ever run out of MP is if you're in a raid and things go... Well, belly up and everyone starts dying and you gotta res everybody. A res is, I believe, 2,000 MP. Don't take my word for that. I quite don't remember at the moment, even though I just played healer today. Yeah, MP usually, uh, your, uh, picks for MP regain are slightly higher. And Lucid Dreaming will always help you top off. Really, it will. The other class I think you might have a problem with MP is, uh, Red Mage, due to how fast its attacks are. Black Mage has Ice Umbra and all that to help its regen. I have Tempura Coat. Which is a new ability. Which will... Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, uh, Okay, what do you do? Create a barrier around once. Okay, you're immediately going over here if you're a barrier. I'm gonna cast it just to see what it looks like, by the way. The animations for these moves are so unique and eye-catching. I actually really like it. Okay, and by the way, that absorbs 20% of my maximum HP, so if I have a lot of HP, really nice. Okay, okay. My least favorite trap in the game, because then you're useless for 28 seconds. Ah, what can you do? I'm still gonna go attack them. Just melee. Smack it. You will not destroy me. I am hurting you. And there we go. My next ability I gets at level 20 called Smudge. Oh, it's a dash. Hmm. Which, fun fact, uh, there's already a point in this game where we use a paintbrush and act like Pictomancers, and that is the Omega Raid, where we're in a room with four paintings, and you get a paintbrush as a active item which you have to use and yeah yeah it was a decent raid it was more it was very inspired by final fantasy 6 you had kefka the train a few other battles oh pomodoro sight okay There's a trap right there. Right now, haste going. Man, with haste, I am a uh, force to be reckoned with. I got a Pompadour Lust, two of them. Sweet. I'm not going to worry about the chest in there, personally. Come on, mostly get going. I really doubt you guys want to watch me do this. This is just how I learn classes, personally. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what it's going to look like. And then uh, when I get to level 60, maybe I'll do another 10 floors and show you what it looks like. Maybe I'll get the floor 50. Paste granted. I don't need to open you. So far, the damage it does is pretty decent. The animations are extremely pretty. You got a shield, but all healers usually get shield, which is nice. I would I would say it's wow, it's spell casting time isn't that long. Well, haste is active, so I'm not going to mention that. There 
Mario. Yeah, right now I'm, I, I will get Smudge at 20, which is a dash, and honestly, I just put that at 4. I'll just do that now. We're about to get Water and Blue. Which I cannot link to my hotbar, so it's probably going to be a combo with this. Let's find out. And there it is, Water and Blue, 300. What's it look like? Oh, that's pretty. Okay, okay, okay. And water and blue? Hmm. Okay. Okay. But yeah, right now, Pictomancer is actually pretty decent. Other than the outfits the game made for the class, which... Yeah, that's, uh, oof. Oh, damn it, I got toaded. Oh, this is one of my favorite dungeon themes. This is about the city where Diabolos is hiding out, and you go and destroy him. By destroy him, I mean beat him up until he goes to the Void Arc Raid. We assume he's dead until he shows back up. Yeah. I'm the door steel, and I'm about to get you. Now the question is, actually I don't really have a question, I know for a fact I'm going to get AoE magic and they're going to work just like this, and when I unlock it, I'll put it right there at number two until, well, yeah. I have an idea. Bam. Nuke. Quickly dashes 15 yalms forward. So this, you don't have to be locked onto a target. You can just go, which makes sense because yes, Viper has a dash forward, but it has to be to the target they're targeted on. Why would you want to be targeted on the enemy and as a spellcaster dash forward? This one has a free dash forward any, the direction you're facing, not to a targeted enemy, which makes sense because you don't want to be up in the enemy's face. Intuition, which means, oh yeah, I have those sacks I gotta turn in. How many do I have? Ah, uh, two. I can turn them in after. And now sell all these potions because, yeah, they're not. I'd rather just sell them for personally. Goodbye. Yeah, when that water comes out, that's a pretty decent little nuke right now, but there's probably way more that's gonna happen for, for this class. So, but yeah, like I said, so far, the, my favorite thing is the animations. And it's feeling pretty decent so far. Eh, of course. Luckily, that doesn't really worry me. Damage dealt decrease, damage taken increased. I'll just finish off the magic. And then for you. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm gonna get Smudge and then Fire Red 2. That's the AoE. I'll put you there. So far, this doesn't remind me of, um, Black Mage, more Red Mage. With how quick these spells are, and... Ooh, Steel, nice. And with how it's flowing, because Black Mage is all about the fire. This is more about just keep casting and leaving. Though, at the moment, I don't have many spells. I just got the one. 
which is three altogether. Around four, eight. Let's at least try to get to 20. Steel. Use another one. All right, I'll take you. And now we go to the next floor, which is floor nine. And then you saw the viper. I'll be fighting a bird. I'm also gonna pop a string because this floor is gonna take too long to do. I'm curious how much my damage is going to go up. I know it goes up by 30%, but I want to see how it feels. Always pop a strength and a steal for a boss if you're solo. That's just a good recommendation. So do your best not to use them ahead of time. All right, let's see. Yeah, it still needs a little more damage to finish it off. Commodore Sight, that'll help for me not to trip traps. Almost tripped the trap. over here. Beautiful. You're gonna get me a level 20. Then I'll do the rest. Oh, hi. Maim and mum. Every spellcaster gets maim and mum. You become Temper Grasa. Removes temper coat. Uh, I'll get there when I get there. But yeah, this is a royal. This you always get with spellcasters for the most part and healers. Maim and mend. Increase base action damage and HP restoration by 10%. Yes. Very nice. You know what? I'm gonna just finish off this. Why not? I'm here. Ah, you know I'll live. I don't need it. Boss drum, let's see what you can do. Let's see. Oh, right, I have that. I don't need to walk anymore. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Its cooldown is how long? 20 seconds. Okay. Come on, do something. I dare you. That's not what I wanted you to do. Da, 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 da. Okay, Pictomancer so far is feeling pretty decent. I'm gonna now take this on a personal quest of... Oh wow, 15 seconds. Oh wait, it lowers. Extends duration. Wait, extends it? Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Once again, I got the boards, and I have no idea what they do, but I will learn. Because when I was with Viper around level 30, I got its bars, and I started to learn more about it. So with this, I got feeling the same thing. Still absolutely hate the outfit. In fact, I think I'm gonna go make a glamour for it, because everything else is too high level. I mean, I guess I could do this. You know, there we go. That looks so much better. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, but I'm gonna officially call this video here. It's gonna be long. It's gonna be mostly nothing, I hate to say. Uh, I will be doing the story very soon. I just want to get a little bit of Pictomancer and Viper in my belt. Next one, I'm gonna finish the few quests they have for probably Pictomancer and Viper. Get those done to level 90. And level them up. And then decide which class I want to do the MSQ with. But yeah, I will see you next time. I will have more Grasp with Pictomancer and Viper, hopefully. And we will continue from there. Also, that is a gatherer right there. And I know because they have Sneak on right now. Yep, I'll see you next time. And, well, goodbye.